Hello, my name is Blake Godby from Vintage Motors of Sarasota here with our wonderful 1986 Alfa Romeo GTV6. We have had this car, I believe, for about four years now. Uh, this has been in our sort of private collection. I have had it up for sale, but, and I've had some offers, but it's just one of those cars where we just loved it. So I kept it. It's fantastic. I like to drive it. And it's just, I got, I grew a little attachment to it. So maybe I'm not the best car dealer at some point for growing attachment to these things, but how could you not? It's one of those things where I didn't expect to love it as much as I did, but after a little bit, not even a little bit, after like the first two drives, I was like, this is absolutely fantastic to drive. We purchased it from one of our best customers of 32 years. He is an eye surgeon, fantastic guy. He drove this car for many years, has a wonderful logbook that comes with the car when he owned it. Uh, drove it, used it, maintenance, everything, every, you know, good checks, bad checks, whatever it needed to be done to the car. He was a guy who was willing to spend big dollars to keep all of his cars maintained. He still keeps about seven cars with us right now. He is a real enthusiast. Uh, if you did not know, this car was actually designed by the gentleman who designed the world famous Lamborghini Countach. And I think this design is timeless. This being one of Jeremy Clarkson's favorite vehicles of all time, and one of mine as well. It has come to be that way. It has great styling, like this wonderful door handle here. The seats are great. I absolutely love this sort of body kit or over fender, or however you would like to say it is. I love it. It might be a little bit of a controversy in the comments, but you know what? It would not be cars without a little controversy or just overall enthusiast sharing the passion that we all share together, which is cool cars, enthusiast cars. And I would say this is an enthusiast vehicle if I've ever seen one before. It has a wonderful hatch. I love the hatch. This is a magazine that the car was in, which is pretty cool here. This is in Sports Exotic Magazine. And there is the vehicle, which I think is quite cool. So yeah, 2.5 liter V6. It comes with some, a little, uh, I believe, it comes with some extra parts in here. Oh yeah, we have the original steering wheel. That comes with the car. Some oil filters, a bunch of those. A uh, little touch-up paint and some extra wheel bearings. We recently just put new tires on this car. Oil change, cool and flush. The Continental tires, I think, were a good upgrade. They provide very good contact. We put extreme contacts on here. I like the way they are. They have very little road noise. I like the upgraded wheels. I do not like the Speedline wheels that these cars came with. I think they don't look that good. Uh, I think these really fit. They kind of make the big fender ar wheel arch area kind of fuller here so it doesn't look as small and dinky, less kind of base model looking. I think that really matches well with this body kit. The Momo steering wheel, that's why we have the original steering wheel in the trunk, but Momo steering wheel is great. Wood shift knob, great touch. And these little pinstripes all over this seats and everything like that, just fantastic. All the lights work, brakes work fantastically. Note right here that there is a crack in the rubber right here and there are some scuffs on the valence. The car dusted a little lower. You should watch out for some curb stops in a parking spot. So park stops, curb stops, anything there. I have used this car quite a bit for errands, cars and coffees, just to drive the car around, go to dinner with my wonderful girlfriend. It's just one of those cars that you hop in it, turn the key, it drives great. It's not something that's been neglected. We have paperwork that comes with it. You can come and see the car as you wish. I took as many detailed photos as humanly possible about this car. So that way you feel confident on the other end purchasing it. I absolutely love it. Let's go take it on a drive because that is all what we care about anyway. Let's go do it. I'm gonna note this real quick. So ignition key, this is for the doors. So doors, trunk, this key is. And I love it. this little bit here, very Alfa Romeo. And this is for the locking gas cap which is fuel right there. Always fires up. I've never had it leave me stranded before. We're sitting at 45,993 miles. You know, the air conditioning works pretty well on this car. It's actually a pretty nice day. After the oh so wonderful hurricanes we've had here in Florida, that have unfortunately, when we're driving, you'll see some of it probably in the background of the video. This is cool. The Italians thought this one through. It just pops and slides. What else do you need? 
You don't need anything electric, and that means it's not going to break. So that's a good thing. You can see some of the hurricane debris here. Fortunately, lots of people with damage to their homes. I feel quite bad for them, but let's get to the fun part, driving. So this has a wonderful V6 trans, uh, V6 transmission. This has a wonderful V6 engine. I love it. It hums along. It's got a great, great sort of throaty little sound that comes out of the back of it. Oil pressure is absolutely fantastic. We have no overheating problems. Fuel gauge works. I know it works accurately because, uh, well, I ran out of gas and when it empty it means empty in this car. The tachometer does not work. I will mention that here. This is the tach. It is not operating. The trip odometer and the odometer work perfectly fine. Again, 45,994 miles of this current second. E-brake handle has a slight crack right here. Got a little traffic. The car just drives like it's on absolute rails, by the way. I wanna, I wanna point that out. These Alfa Romeos, this is a very underappreciated vehicle in the market. There are so many car people buy BMWs. I'm a huge fan of that stuff too, BMWs, Mercedes. Uh, you know, I understand, but like there, there are not very many cars that you can buy that are this striking. And so many people come up to me in this car from all over the world. You meet people from England that come up to us at the grocery store when we were driving it there. Uh, I met a gentleman from Scotland that had me pull over just so he could speak to me and talk to me about the car, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. But, you know, it's one of those things. I have driven and owned many very significant Ferraris and Lamborghinis, um, E-types, whatever, but this car gets way more attention than all of them. Everything looks quite good on the dashboard. Everything fits well. These vents right here and there work well. The air works as good as a Countach works. So it is cold, but wouldn't say it's like the best AC on the planet, but you know, it, it does its job. Let's just say that it does AC things. Longest light of my life. All the headlights work, brights work, tail lights work, running lights work. Um, I did use this to charge my phone. So if you end up driving, you can use your little phone, charge it there. Sun visor, sun visor. Oh, and the uh, quartz clock does function, by the way. Not many cars with a functioning clock. Again, back to the handling. The back, the handling in this car is just beautiful. I love it. All the gears shift quite well. No grinding, popping. We're in every gear. Speedometer shows that we're in Mexico. A joy to drive. The smiles per mile are very high in this car. It's got these little, little bit of a gargle that comes down off idle or off uh, off throttle. A little gargle, a little boom, boom, boom. We are going to make a turnaround right here. Turning circle is good, I can affirm. <laughs> yeah, just... You just can't help it, but smile. It just cracks a smile wherever you go. I mean, look at this. I mean, just turns, 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 turns. I see why they got so much recognition. And I see why Jeremy Clarkson says this is one of, or is his favorite car. Or one of his favorite cars, I should say. Whatever he says. I know Jeremy Clarkson loves this car to death. It was all over the Grand Tour and Top Gear for many, many years. Fortunately, has come to an end. But this, he was totally right about these cars. The GTV6, again, I think it's super underrated. I don't understand, you know, people I understand, oh, Alfa Romeo, blah, 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 not the most reliable. You want to know what I have to say? The car looks great. It sounds great. It turns great. It has pedigree. But this one has not let me down. Um, in our ownership. I've actually known this car, I believe, a little over 19 years I've known this car. This car used to sit in our museum 
It was driven quite often during that time. You'll see that in the logbook. The logbook really helps. And we got records from like fuel injectors, numerous ma normal maintenance. It's just a great car. Underneath is nice. There's no rust bubbles, nothing like that on this car. Door is quite good. This is quite good. Show some brakes. Yeah, brakes. They're there. They work really well. I will note in the gallery there are some scuffs on the front valence and some rock chips on the front valence. So please look at the gallery. Very well maintained. It has been proven. I would easily hop in this car and use it for a road trip anytime. This is a bold statement, but it is one of those cars that's just been looked after. This is not your typical neglected Italian sports car. Somebody was scared to drive or own or just didn't do, know what they were doing. I, I love it. I think the next person is going to enjoy it just as I have. Get off the road. There's just so much stuff around here. You don't want to drive too far. Oil pressure is still fantastic. We have been in the car for a, a little over 12 minutes by this point. Oil pressure is still great. No overheating. This car has a great system. I, I can tell you from sitting in wonderful traffic for a very long time in this vehicle, there were no overheating issues whatsoever. Almost back to the shop here. If you would like to see this car in person, come to 7519 Pennsylvania Avenue here in Sarasota, Florida, right behind the Sarasota Airport. You can come see it. Very detailed photos will be in the gallery. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And I very much appreciate you watching today's video. Thank you very much.